Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about planning life and managing money. Today's video is going to be on my health and wellness planner. A bunch of things go into my health and wellness planner. It's a place where I keep track of my body goals, my relaxation and stress release habits, and my exercise. Now, I don't keep all of my food details in this planner, but I do keep track of the certain habits that I am trying to stay on top of with my food. Like for instance, I do intermittent fastings and OMAD, which is one meal a day, and all of that tracking of how I eat goes into the planner, just not the exact food. The exact food goes into my home planner. Now, the very first two weeks, as you already saw, were very plain. I am going to decorate a little bit this week, but as you know, with all of my planners, I decorate when I can, but I am very functional, so I make sure that I am using my planners no matter what. I don't want to hold off on using them because I don't have time to decorate. So certain weeks have um, a bunch of stickers, and then other weeks, I have none that just... Depends on how my life is going that week. So this week's color scheme is green and I am really loving how these leaves are looking across the page. These are from the Happy Illustrations on the sticker book from the Happy Planner. So I also started to add this growing sticker but I felt like it was way too big and kind of taking over the spread. So I am taking it off and then that will be all of the stickers that I am going to use. Keeping it very simple this week. So what's in my health and wellness planner? Well first I do keep track of my weight and my eating structure. Meaning if I'm doing OMAD one meal a day or if I'm doing intermittent fasting. I also like to keep track of my workouts. I have been switching it up between jogging, home workouts, and going to CrossFit. So I do like to keep track of my routines so that I can know when is the last time that I did something. I like to keep track of my medical and my dentist appointments. This past Friday, I went to the dentist for my six month cleaning and I also um, changed out my toothbrush. So I like to mark down um, when the last time I changed out my toothbrush. When was the last time I went to the dentist? When was the last time I got a medical checkup? All of that goes into this planner. I also like to keep track of my facials, my spa appointments, my nail appointments, if I do a face mask, all of those things so I can stay on top of the last time that I'm kind of doing some self-care items. I also add in here gratitude, meditation, reflection, um, affirmations, personal development quotes, just things that I feel like would keep me encouraged. I keep track of my water intake. I like to mark that down because that can get away from me very easily. Um, I just will go throughout my day and realize that I have not drunk any water. So um, keeping track in my planner kind of makes me stay on top of it. I also like to manage pain in this planner too. I used to get like really bad migraines before I had my first daughter um, and they you know, I was on medication for the migraines. And then when I got pregnant with her, they like went away and it was like awesome. <laughs> so I did enjoy that while I was pregnant. But after I had both of my daughters, they would come back from time to time. So I like to keep track of any type of pain that I'm in. And if I take any medication for that pain, so that when I do go to the doctor, I am able to um, tell him exactly what's going on and what they I was in pain and what exactly was hurting and what was the level of that pain. It kind of keeps me um, accountable to my doctor. I can kind of let him know everything that's going on instead of trying to remember everything. And then at the bottom here, I am just jotting down what I am grateful for on that day. I like to keep track of every you know, person in my life that I am grateful for. And that is it for this planner. I like to keep it very simple and I am loving it so far. It's helping me stay on top of everything. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I hope it gives you some great ideas for your planner and I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.